This is one of the most famous pilgrimage centers in India. The Sri Venkateshwara Swami Temple, better known as Tirupati Balaji Temple. It is a bastion of faith that attracts devotees from all over the world. Nestled in the lush Seshasalam or Seven Hills range overlooking the city of Tirupati, Vishnu's devotee and Vahana or vehicle, Garuda, welcomes visitors to a temple flush with legend and faith. It is believed to be the abode of Sri Venkateshwara, an avatar of Lord Vishnu, that manifested itself at the very spot the temple is built on. Legend goes that when Sri Venkateshwara Swami descended on these hills, he put his first foot here at Sri Varipadalu, the second step in this natural arch called Silathornam or Rock Garland, and the third and final step on the spot where the idol inside the temple stands today. In fact, it is also believed that the idol is of exactly the same height as the Silathornam. Since the deity inside is believed to have been self-manifested, it is considered very sacred and hundreds and thousands of devotees are drawn by the belief that their prayers will be answered here. Offerings to the deity range from coconut to gold and there is an interesting myth behind this too. It is believed to contribute towards the loan Sri Venkateshwara took from Kubera, the god of wealth, to marry Lakshmi in the form of Padmavati. Such powerful legends have added to the temple's enigma and for the thousands of devotees who wait outside patiently to get a darshan of the main deity, there is another way of seeing him. An idol of another avatar of Vishnu, Malayappa Swami, flanked by his female consort Bhu Devi and Sri Devi, is brought out of the temple twice every day for devotees to offer their prayers. The Sri Venkateshwara temple has been held in great reverence through history. Earliest references of it come from the 9th century CE where Pallava kings thronged here. The Vijayanagar rulers also came here from the 14th century CE. Today the devotion continues unabated. This temple is truly a testimony to an enduring faith that has survived and thrived through centuries. And it looks like it will do so for many more to come.